Sometimes people have what it takes, but they haven't recognized it yet. Just go forward. So what do you need to do? How do you stand out? So what you need to do is be that person that's different and is bigger than you think. Rise from the ashes and fly like the phoenixes that you are. Welcome, everybody. 15 minutes into the call. Um, so, um, yeah, live calls are great. Anyway, what I wanted to talk about today. Um, there are moments that we deal with. I, I was kind of talking about this the other day and dealing with trials and adversity and how you approach it. And, you know, am I fighting things? Am I struggling through how how some of you guys and I, I appreciate it, some of you that shared what you do to deal with that. Um, I want to talk real quick about the power of of a team of those that are close to you, of finding others that can help you, whether it's a professional situation or it's a personal situation, recognize that you're not alone. And I bring this up because I, um, I have a friend, I have friends that are down in Brazil, still have maintained some friendships there. And, and I think, I don't know if it is here and can someone check for me, but in, uh, in Brazil, September is suicide awareness month. I don't know if it's the same thing here. I'm bringing this up um, simply because I was talking to some friends and uh, reminiscing about years past. And I never got to that point, but I dealt with depression. I dealt with those days where you never wanted to get up. I've had friends that have, um, you know, decided that that was their only escape and took that route. Uh, a lot of us probably know someone that, that did that. A lot of us have been affected in, in one way or another. And you may be in a position where you you have a struggle with depression, you may not be. If you do find help, find therapy. If you've got a friend that may be there, reach out and become part of that team. There's a, a quote, and then there's a couple of examples. You know, I had a lot of you guys know I'm I'm still I went through a divorce nine years ago. Still stuff going on. Had a conference with. You know, I've had some things that have gone well, others that haven't, as far as legal matters concerning that. And I had a, a conference call earlier today with attorneys. And um, I am incredibly grateful for the team that I have on my side. Um, and I think we've developed beyond just a, I mean, there is a absolute professional relationship, but because of the topic matter and what's being discussed and involved and the fight that's going on and the length of time that it's taken, there's been a relationship built. And, and I'm just grateful for everything that the whole team has put in and I was looking at that and I'm looking at my business and, and the individuals that have helped me there. And I'm looking at people from a, a personal perspective and conversations that I've been able to have over the last few weeks. There's a power in those that you surround yourself with. If you surround yourself with the right people, there's this great quote by Margaret Mead. And honestly, I have no idea who she is. I just heard the quote and I loved it. So if you guys know who she is, let me know. But Never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens, and you could say people, but can indeed or can change the world. Indeed, it's the only thing that ever has. Never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it's the only thing that ever has. And I want to read through some, oh my gosh, where do those numbers go? No. I've had I had some numbers that I was looking at a minute ago. How many? Give me one second here. All right. If we were to look at, in order to get here, and sometimes this comes about with the depression or, or these feelings of inadequacy and we go, you know, no one cares about me. It didn't matter much. I, I want to run through some interesting numbers, okay? I want to start with ancestors. And ancestors are easily identified. I want to look at what it took to get you here. If we go back one generation, your parents, it's a mother and a father. And some of us have step parents and everything. But to get you here, a mother and a father. Next, um, after the mother and a father, you have four grandparents, eight great-grandparents, 16 second great-grandparents. 32 third generation great grandparents, 64 fourth, um, 128 eighth generation, 256 ninth generation, 512 tenth generation, 1024 11th, 2048 12th. To go back 12 generations, 
If you add up all of the people, all of the ancestors involved with each of those categories, it's over 4,000 people, 4,048 people to get you, or 4,098 people to get you here. That's just over the course of, they, they say a generation is somewhere between 20 to 30 years. So that's less than 400 years, over 4,000 people to get you here. And I want you to think about all of the trials that they had to overcome, everything that they had to deal with all of the hopes for the future, all of the happiness that they shared, all of the sorrows that they you know, cried over, that some of them traveling all across the world, dealing with, I mean, think about what they had to deal with three, 400 years ago, just to survive to the age that they could have children, all to create you, to get you here. If you ever feel alone, whether you believe in, in God, the universe, or whatever, know that there were thousands of people that put an effort to make sure that their life was continued on in one way or another, and that produced you. And there are people that are around you today that treasure you, that cherish you, that are glad that you are here, and will help lift you up if you allow them to. Sometimes it's that conversation at work that you need that just helps you be a little bit more productive during the day. Sometimes it's the comment that someone makes to help you focus in and become a little bit better than what you have to tap into your potential. Sometimes it's simply the feeling of comfort that you get knowing that someone cares, but know that you are not alone. Never. I know that's hard to think about sometimes when you're laying in bed and, and it's hard to go to sleep. And then when you finally do, you don't want to get out of bed because I've been there. I know what it feels like to lay on the couch and not want to talk with anybody and tell all your friends that you're just fine when really it feels like an elephant is sitting on your chest and you don't know what to do. I know what it's like to go through days when you're just the robot with no emotion. A lot of us have been there and you may have been through quite a bit, but I want you to recognize every single day that you've overcome those obstacles and damn it, whatever you're dealing with now, you can overcome. And if what I'm saying to you right now is maybe a little alien, it doesn't make sense. You've never had to deal with it. Then that's phenomenal. That's great. That's such a tremendous blessing. I'm not downplaying in any way that you haven't had to do it. That's wonderful. But there's others around you that may have. And so you have an opportunity to step in and it's not a Hey, don't worry about it. Hey, everything's going to be fine. Just get over it. Calm down. It, it's not that conversation. It's simply, hey, I was thinking about you today. How are you doing? I, I just want you to know I appreciate you. Really? Why? You know, I just, I was looking back at moments that we've shared and you were magnificent. What do you mean? I treasure my relationships. I may not let you know enough, but I want you to know you're important to me. Well, why, why did you do, why are you saying this? No reason, no reason, just to let you know. Ladies and gentlemen, you have an opportunity to make a difference in someone else's life. You may need that difference made in yours. If you do, reach out to somebody, you know, whether it's, it's one of us, because I guarantee you anybody that's on this call be willing to have that conversation. If it's a professional, um, wherever you're at in the world, and I, I take for granted sometimes the availability that we have, you know, here in the States, people sometimes will complain about the healthcare system, you know, and, but I was talking with someone in a, uh, a different country and they were saying that they were putting something together that would allow people to get therapy that they needed in as little as two to six months instead of the typical two to three year wait. And I, my jaw dropped and they were so thrilled about this. And I thought about it and, you guys have access to this right now, okay? Everybody, I don't care where you're at in the world. There's apps that you can download and you can book an appointment virtually on Zoom if you're willing to pay a couple of bucks. And if you're in that spot that you really, really need that kind of conversation and you don't have the 50 or $60, honestly, reach out to me and let me know because a conversation like that is much more important. I'll pay for it. Um, I'm saying this simply because there are people around you that love you. There's opportunities here in your life. There's so much to live for. If that's you, reach out for help. If it's someone else in your life, let them know. Um, back to Margaret Mead's um, quote, essentially, 
great changes can happen with a small group of citizens, with your business, with your life, whatever. Just recognize the the power that you have and that those around you have and um, express some gratitude for it. So anyway, those were the thoughts that came to me today, last night. And I saw those quotes and then just got off that phone call and just I'm so grateful for some of the people that have helped lift me up, the people that are fighting along with me on all sorts of different things. I'm grateful for you guys. Um, put in the fight for yourselves. Okay. I will message a couple of you. Sarah and Craig, we got book. Rick, I'm going to send you some times. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. I will talk with you tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Sometimes people have what it takes for them. Go forward. So what do you need to do? How do you stand out? But what you need to do is be that person that's different and is bigger than you think. Rise from the ashes and fly like the phoenix that you are.